Sora is an Austroasiatic language of the Sora people, an ethnic group of eastern India, mainly in the states of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Sora contains very little formal literature but has an abundance of folk tales and traditions. Most of the knowledge passed down from generation to generation is transmitted orally. Like many languages in eastern India, Sora is listed as vulnerable to extinction by UNESCO. Most speakers are concentrated in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh but smaller communities also exist in Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Bihar. Distribution Speakers are concentrated mainly in Ganjam district, Gajapati district, central Gumma Hills region, Gumma block, etc., and Rayagada district, but are also found in adjacent areas such as Koraput and Fulbani districts. Other communities exist in northern Andhra Pradesh, Visyanagaram district and Srikakulam district, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, and the Plains division of Assam. Topic History The Sora language has faced a wave-like pattern of usage—that is the number of people who speak Sora climbed steadily for decades before crashing down. In fact the number of people who spoke Sora went from 157,000 in 1901 to 166,000 in 1911. In 1921, this number marginally rose to 168,000 and kept climbing. In 1931, speaker numbers jumped to 194,000 but in 1951, a period of exponential growth occurred with speaker numbers jumping to 256,000. In 1961, numbers topped at 265,000 speakers before crashing down in 1971 when speaker numbers dropped back down to 221,000. Culture. Sora is spoken by the Sora people, who are a part of the Adivasi, or tribal people, in India, making Sora an Adivasi language. Sora is found in close proximity to Odia and Telugu-speaking peoples making a great deal of Sora people bilingual. Sora does not have much in the way of literature except for a few songs and folk tales which are usually transmitted orally. Sora religion is a mix of traditional shamanistic rituals and the surrounding Hinduism predominant in surrounding populations. One particular Sora ritual has to do with death. Sora retains a unique shamanistic view on the subject of death. It is said that people who die from murders, suicides, or accidents are said to be taken, in a sense, by the sun spirit. These people, called Usangdijen, are then said to reside in the sun itself after death. Sora uses spirits to explain many phenomena. For example, if a girl in no relationship has a headache or a migraine, it is said that the Pangalsam spirit, or bachelor spirit who contains the souls of men who have died before wedlock, has placed a wreath of flowers tightly around the girl's head as a symbol of claiming her as his wife. <laughs> Numerals The Sora numeral system uses a base 12, which only a few other languages in the world do. Ikari, for example, uses a base 60 system. For example, 39 in Sora arithmetic would be thought of as 1 asterisk 20 plus 12 plus 7. Here are the first 12 numerals in the Sora language, English, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. Sora, a boy bago yagi unji monloi tudra gulji thamji tinji gelji gelmai miguel. Similar to how English uses the suffix from the numeral 10 after 12, such as 13, 14, etc., Sora also uses a suffix assignment to numerals after 12 and before 20. 13 in Sora is expressed as mijilboy, 12 plus 1, 14 as migilbagu, 12 plus 2, etc. Between numerals 20 and 99, Sora adds the suffix curry to the first constituent of the numeral. For example, 31 is expressed as bakori gelmai and 90 as unjakori gelji. Phonology On a similar note, our understanding of Sora phonology is limited at best but there are some generalizations that can be made. Most syllables are of the consonant, vowel, consonant form and morphemes usually contain one to three syllables. 
There are 18 identifiable consonants and they fall into most of the established origins of sound. Five consonants originate from the palate while only one consonant originates from the glottis. An interesting facet of Sora consonants is that they contain an inherent, vowel. Although vowels may be pronounced differently, there exist only six vowels in Sora. There are no diacritics and aspiration varies depending on the speaker. It is likely that the influence of English, Odisha, and Telugu has also affected vowel pronunciation over the course of Sora's use. Pronunciations also change in prevocalic occurring before a vowel and non-prevocalic environments. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vowels. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Grammar. Sora uses grammatical devices, including subject and object agreement, word order, and noun compounding to show case. It is seen as a predominantly nominative accusative language and once again differs from most other languages with its lack of a passive structure. However, just because Sora lacks a passive case does not mean other established forms of grammatical case are also missing. Rather, Sora has some complex grammatical cases. A few examples are as follows, nominative, Accusative Dative accusative Objective accusative Instrumental Benefactive Genetive In addition, Sora, like many other Munda languages, uses relator nouns to link nouns with the other parts of the sentence in order to provide a more specific meaning, called compounding. These monosyllabic nouns that enhance meaning are called semantic relator nouns and are used widely in Sora. Sora also has a combining form for every noun in addition to the full form of the noun. The combining form allows the noun to be attached to a verb root to create a more semantically complex word, similar to compounding in other languages. Sora contains prefixes, infixes, and suffixes to form its affixation but only uses its suffixes to change the possession of nouns. The combining form is the form seen when the noun is being used with a verb or another full-formed noun. The full form is the form seen when the noun is standing alone or functioning not in tandem with other parts of speech. Some templates of Sora combinations between nouns and verbs are as follows, verb plus combined form verb plus combined form plus combined form full form plus combined form full form plus combined form plus combined form an example of a full form noun shortened into the combined form is as follows: man ra, the full form of man, transform into the combined form word mer. The two indicate that a noun full or combined or verb has to precede the combined form noun. That is, the combined form noun cannot stand on its own. Although by no means conclusive, a few general guidelines about the combined form is that it depends on where the combination with the verb or other noun is to take place. If the combined form is to an infix, then its resulting form will be different than if it were to be combined as a prefix. Some examples of full form nouns and their combined forms are as follows, full form combined form English translation d, d honeycomb r, r sour banarage, bn flower bayra, bal gun barrel cree, d drum Vocabulary, Lexis Sora borrows words from surrounding languages like Telugu and Oriya. An example of a word borrowed from Oriya is Kurana, which is a tree name. From Telugu Munu, which means black gram, is borrowed. Moreover, within the Munda family itself most words appear to be mutually intelligible owing to minor differences in pronunications and phonology. Karia and Korku, two other Munda languages, share mutually intelligible words with Sora. For example, the number 11 in Karia is Golmo, in Korku it is Gel Dumia, and in Sora it is Gelmai. Each 11 in each language looks and sounds remarkably similar to the other 11s. This phenomenon is not just contained in numbers but rather a great deal of vocabulary is mutually intelligible among the Munda languages. Within the Austroasiatic language family more knowledge about Sora vocabulary can be found. The Mon Khmer language family which encompasses the languages primarily spoken in Southeast Asia has lexical cognates with the Munda family. 
That means that some words found in Sora are of direct Proto-Austroasiatic origin and share similarities with other derived Austroasiatic language families. Words that relate to the body, family, home, field, as well as pronouns, demonstratives, and numerals are the ones with the most cognates. Writing system The Sora language has multiple writing systems. One is called Sora Sampung, a native writing system created only for the Sora language. It was developed in 1936 by Mange Gomango. Sora is also written in the Odia alphabet by the bilingual speakers of Odisha. Similarly, Telugu is used by the bilingual speakers living in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Finally, the last commonly used script to write Sora is the Latin script. <laughs> Media coverage Sora was one of the subjects of Ironbound Films' 2008 American documentary film The Linguists, in which two linguists attempted to document several moribund languages. Further reading Hammerstrom, Harold, Forkel, Robert, Haspelmath, Martin, Bank, Sebastian, eds. 2016. Sora. Glottolog 2.7. Jenna, Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. Ramamurti, R.S. A Manual of the Sora Savara Language. Delhi, Middle Publication. Venkataramamurti, G. Sora English Dictionary. Delhi, Middle Publication.